Hello everybody and welcome to the top 5 cards to look for at Pro Tour Aether Revolt this weekend. Before we get started, my name is Sam, all my info, my Twitch, my YouTube, everything is in the comment section down below. Please make sure to go check that out. Give this video a big thumbs up, sub to Seems Good Magic, they are great people. And if you disagree with anything in this list or have anything to say, leave a comment, I will make sure to reply. Number 5. Tezzeret the Schemer isn't fantastic on its surface, but really gives blue-black everything it needs in a big 4-drop. It eliminates those clunky turn 4 Glimmer of Geniuses, and most importantly allows you to accelerate into turn 5 Gear Hulk while minusing Tezzeret to kill something. I think this card is great. I think it's going to see a lot of play in the blue-black control decks. Maybe just out of the board, I might be underestimating how good it is, but I think it's good enough to make this list, and that is my number five. Number four. Fatal Push is a modern staple. In a format with fetch lands and Tarmogoyfs and Dark Confidants to kill, it is unstoppable. In standard, I think it's just a one, a two, a three of, in a lot of these good black decks, right? I mean, it doesn't kill everything, but it does deal with a nice Voltaic Brawler or Long Tusk Coven. It kills a few things. There is the chance a Revolt, so it could kill even more things, but it's not going to be as powerful in standard as it could be in modern. So as long as you understand that and kind of limit your expectations while understanding that it's still going to be played, I think it deserves a spot on this list. Number three. Now this is a card that gets me excited. Aggro decks are finally good again. Wait, wait, what? They... Oh, you're, you're saying they, they ban things. Well, yeah, so maybe aggro decks aren't that great, but if they're going to be good, this card is definitely going to help out. It brings reach from multiple angles. Those long tusk cubs that were just getting chumped can now get through for some serious damage. And most importantly, alpha attacks are now going to leave your opponent with no good decisions to make. Number two, a walking ballista is a card that's seen a lot of success in the new standard format, primarily in a black green snakes. But this card does it all. It's a kill spell. It's a lava axe. It's an artifact. It improvises, and it's sometimes just a big beater. I think this card is a favorite to be played in more than one archetype that shows up in the top 32, maybe even the top 16. And while not as dominant or format warping as the number one on this list, I definitely think a Walking Ballista is worth a shot. And it's so good that you're going to play in decks that can't even take advantage of that 1-1 one, one counter. Number one. Now, as I'm sure we all know, Sahili is going to be number one, and I don't think that's stopping anytime soon. I had a video on my channel this week that basically stated that Sahili was here to stay. And I don't think that's saying too much or getting out of line. I mean, most pros, uh, I've watched a few videos this week and such, predict that between 20 and 40% of the metagame is going to be made up of Sahili. And while green and black snakes might have a good matchup with it at the moment, as soon as these Jeskai Sahili players cut the fourth color and start playing Fumigate, that matchup gets terrible for green and black. Now, Fumigate might hurt the blue-black matchup, help the Mardu matchup, help the green-black matchup, and the Zombies matchup is a win anyways. But I don't think hurting the blue-black control matchup to help everything else is really that big of a deal. I think it's a fix a lot of players are going to find, and I expect this to dominate. Now, what this does have the ability to lose to is fast, tempo-oriented aggro decks. And cards like Smuggler's Copter and Reflector... Guys, I have to inform you. Smuggler's Copter and Reflector Mage have been banned! All right, so, I mean, it, uh, it looks like uh, Wizards didn't really uh, give us a way out of this one. I... They did say there's a ban coming in five weeks. So, yes, I mean, I guess there's that. There's a ban coming in five weeks. I mean, I think this thing's just going to kill the Pro Tour. I, I don't know what to say. If, if you have anything else to say, I guess leave it in the comment section down below. Uh, the good news is the new set comes out in April, so we don't have to wait that long for it. And, I mean... Just guys, Healy Copycat is like kind of a cute name for a deck, so I guess it's not the worst place we could possibly be. So thank you guys for watching and letting me make these obscene, silly, fun, hopefully informative videos for everyone. I hope you like it. Again, check me out in the comment section down below. Uh, I try to reply to every single person that responds like within the first week of the video. After that, I don't really check it that much. Give the guys from the Seems Good at Magic Crew some love as well. They've been doing some great streaming as of late. And I'll see everybody next Wednesday for my regular scheduled limited content.